Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we got a laptop here for servicing and a few upgrades. Uh, first thing in this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you on a step by step how to repaste and clean up the fan, the thermal paste, everything on this laptop. This one is an Asus Tough Gaming Laptop. The model number is an FX505D model. This tool comes with a Ryzen 7 and in GPU is a GTX 1660Ti. This applies for any ASUS TOF gaming FX505D model. All right, first we want to start doing the uh, servicing on this one. So what do you need to do? Power it up completely. You want to flip it upside down and we're going to go over the tools that you're going to be needing. You will need a workshop towel one or two sheets of the workshop towel so grab one or two sheets of this ones these are really suitable to do your own services for this type of work you want to grab uh, alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95 percent plus make sure you will need a screwdriver set i highly recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set they have one of the best screwdrivers kit out there and they are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro version of this tool set. They will include you an opening tool, tweezers and pliers and opening tools. And, but if you don't get the pro set for the opening tool, we're gonna be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. It's really tough and suitable to opening covers. You will need a tweezers, curved or straight tweezers. And you will need a thermal paste. Your favorite thermal paste. We have an Arctic, uh, Arctic MX4. If you want to use Arctic MX4, those are really good ones, good brand thermal paste. You can go a little bit crazy. And if you want to go really crazy, go with the uh, thermal greasy cryonaut. These are really expensive, but is worth to drop it within three to four Celsius extra. So go with this one. But if you want to be on a good budget, go with an thermal MX4, which are really good. All right, once you got your thermal paste, and now we're gonna start opening up the cover here. First thing first, we're gonna remove all the screws down on the bottom cover. They are short screws and they are long screws. So the short ones are the front end of the laptop or the front row and including the the middle one so the middle one and the front end of the laptop these are the short ones keep them in one pile the side ones and the back row these are the longest screws so remove all of the screws and keep them in one pile also if you like my video and helps you guys out to your upgrades repaste cleaning you can just support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel i really appreciate it will be a really great support and he helps me to make uh, more videos and take requests and qu answer your questions. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab the opening tool. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab it from the front side and we're gonna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Somehow to manage in the corner, we start from the corner and stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. And all you wanna do, you wanna just Go around and twisting it, walk through yourself, and you want to hear those clicks. That's what you want to hear. Go all around in the front row. And you want to do the side, the left and the right side again. Between the top and the bottom corner, you just want to wiggle it around, going all the way to the back corner. And once you do it, it should come up pretty easy. You can do the back side too if you want to take your time doing it. You can do it right here at the back end. Or you can just lift it up the front and it will just crack the back open. Once you do the side, the back, and you just pick it up and remove it. That's the bottom cover. You can go ahead and clean up the dust right there. Or you can even wash the cover and let it for drying. All right, down here we got the whole heat sink and the fan. Look at the fan, it's like all clogged up. So that's what you want to clean. 
you see that clogged up fan right there we're gonna clean those very nicely right now so first thing first we're gonna remove the battery to remove the battery there is one screw right at the bottom side here remove that screw lift up the battery and there's a tiny clip here so you just have to push this clip backward inside and then it will come out and just pull the back the jack hold it from the jack or just pull it back it's really soft it will come out with no issue once you remove the battery you don't want to remove anything else not even the bios battery we're going to start uh, unscrewing the fan on the right side by removing one screw right on the fan one other screw right beside it right there you want to go to the this side remove the screw right here this one has three screws So the three screws, one right there, there, and there. Once you remove those, there should be a, the cable for the fan. It comes right here. So unhook it just by pulling this back, this jack. Uh, there is the, there's more tape here. Let's untape this one here. This is the Wi-Fi connector right there. You can remove this, put them back together later on. Uh, remove the screw for the Wi-Fi. Lift up the Wi-Fi and pull it out. So you can actually untangle this cable right there. And you can go ahead and put the Wi-Fi back on because we're not just going to do that again. So put the screw for that. Put the tape if you want to. You don't need to. But yeah. All right, once we remove this, the... The fan is loose, but it will not come. There's a hook right on it, so leave it there. And this one is loosened up too, so has a hook right there. So we're gonna start removing the four screws on the heat C in the CPU and four screws on the GPU. Go ahead and remove it. The on this screw, there's a label, so that's the warranty label. All right, once you remove those, all you need to do is to grab it from here and just grab it from here the thermal paste on the gpu is really sticky so bring it up i forgot to disconnect the fan here so disconnect the fan or pull the cable and remove the fan from there and that's it the fan from here can be removed too let's put the fans on one side and the heatsink right there so that's how it is it is dusty so we're going to clean up this uh, heatsink right there the thermal paste is is really dry this is a thermal gel that they have around here so you don't have to replace the thermal gel you can add a little bit of thermal paste it will do the job all you need to do is to collect the thermal pads on the side thermal gel with a plastic here you can just leave it on top or put a this one i'm just going to leave it on top there's a I, I can't find the thermal gel link if you can find a thermal gel not thermal paste you can clean them and put a thermal gel on top of those that will help you out a little bit but it's not that necessary so they don't heat up that much so but we are going to clean up the let's grab a towel here we are going to clean up the heat sink first so we're going to grab the towel here and we're going to apply a alcohol. People are going to keep asking me, can I put a thermal pads in here? You cannot put a thermal pad. If you put a thermal pad, it's going to do a push away the, uh, the heat sink away and you're going to get a horrible result on the temperatures. So do not put a thermal, pay, thermal pads on the thermal gel place. So leave the gel the way it is. So you don't need to worry about that one just clean that you don't want to clean up the gel now what you can do with this gel like there's an extra gel right here you can grab it from here and put it right on this component right here a little bit but these gels are like i pushed away from here and they are still good 
put on uh, this tiny component because these are the power management. And there's one big chunk right there. And put it right there. And the rest you can just grab it from here and put it on the VRAMs right on top. Again, on the VRAMs, you do not need to cool them down. They're just fine. Unless you want to overclock, then yes. All right, and this one here, just I'm going to scramble them right back in. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to take it outside with a toothbrush and blow some air through here and clean up the heat sink. And what I'm going to do, again, with a toothbrush, clean up the whole fan right here this one is really really dirty as you guys can see so let's see what I come up with I'm just gonna use an old toothbrush and I'm gonna clean it up and I'll be back and then we're gonna clean up the CPU and the GPU I'm back I cleaned up the heat sink nicely and we cleaned up the fan the difference on the fans right now is humongous so you can see it's like a nice and clean there's no dust particles or clogged anything like that I use an air compressor, I'll leave the link for that air compressor that I use, it's really handy. Alright, so now we're gonna clean up the CPU and the GPU, same way that we did this on the heatsink. We're gonna grab a towel, we're gonna clean it up. And we are gonna rub right on top. All you care about is the CP, the dye, the crystal dye, you don't care about Around it, don't worry, you don't need to go nifty and clean up the whole motherboard. All you want to clean up is the die on the CPU and the GPU. That's all you care about. I'm going to show you a little bit of trick on how I clean up the uh, oxidized uh, copper in here so we get a better contact. You're gonna use a silver cleaner or copper cleaner solution, a paste or liquid format. Doesn't matter, I found that on my city I had a liquid one, you can get a paste one. Just gonna damp it right in there and look at the difference. It's just gonna wash up and clean up the, bring the true copper over. So this process, you have to be quick. Once you clean up, exposing to the air is gonna oxidize the copper. So you wanna be quick with this one. Clean up as fast as you can. Clean it up nicely. You see all those dirt? So now it's going to get an even better contact. Once you clean it, this one it smells horrible. Alright, now we're going to paste it down and we're going to put the fans first. So put this fan in here. The cable goes all around it. Zigzag this cable right on there. And plug in the cable for the fan on the jack. Seal it down. Put this other one here. Connect the fan. People always usually forget the fan. Plug them in. Now we're going to grab the thermal paste. We're going to put a tiny line on the CPU. And one drop right on the GPU. You don't need to overdo it and put a lot. Just a little bit goes a long way. Even that's a little bit too much. But if this is not conductive, so don't worry about it. Now, there's a little trick that I do with these things here. I bend up the legs a little backward. So bend them upward. So it can give you that little extra pressure towards the CPU and GPU. So they become a little springy because after a few years, the springiness on this one, there is, it will just get loose. So they will not push well. So you want to do this and you'll get a way better performance a little bit. I'm going to do on this one. On this one, you can't do that much because the foil tape on top of here is useless, honestly. It's a horrible thing to transfer. I'm going to use a little pliers to bend this one back upward a little bit. Make sure you do it evenly. Uh, 
There we go. I'll bring it down. Put this aluminium tape right over. Now all you need to do is to bring it straight down. Straight down here. Evenly and put it down straight right on the on the top. Put the tape and now we're gonna cross screw them. Make sure you always cross screw this. There's a little number on them, one, two, three, four, but doesn't matter where you start as long as you cross screw them. So you can do two, three, two, one. So always cross screw them. All right, we're gonna put the two screws for the fan on the right side and three screws for the fan on the left side. And there's one more screw, which is on the heat sink right here. I forgot the one right here. And there we go. All right, once you got this, you make sure the tape, the contact for the fans are in place. Put them there. You want to put this cover on top here if you wish. You don't have to. Grab the battery. Bring it down. Before you put it down, align the contact for the jack. Push it all the way through. And then align it and push it down. Make sure you that click right here. Put the single screw for the battery. And then we should be done down here. And the last thing you need to do, just double check the cables are zigzagging around. It's not pinching anywhere and it's sitting nicely the fans is in a place grab the bottom cover that you cleaned up already bring it all straight over and you want to push it down hard and you want to hear some clicking just press that press the back side all the way in pinch them the top and the bottom cover to hear those extra clicks on the front side you want to pinch it real hard the top and the bottom cover just like that bring them and pinch them and you should get those is stuck in there and the last thing would be to just put down the bottom screws and as always just make sure you put the front end screws which are the short one and the mid short one is in the middle right here and the long ones goes on the sides and on the back row and if you guys like this video and helped you guys out please click the like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to put up the screw and we're going to power it on and we should see if it we get a logo. So there we go, we got a um, menu and we set to go as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video